Hey Comic Impact, welcome to the Impact. It used to be a written article, and then it was an audio thing, and now it's video. Right, Sebastian? The Radio. Magic, the magic of the internet. We're on YouTube. Yeah. Guess what? Every day there's a different show. It's up Saturday and Sunday. Well, we'll talk more about that later. Anyway, this is your news, like your top five stories of the week. So we got some stuff to start off with. Thursday was the third, I guess, third annual Image Expo. So Sebastian, what's coming out from Image Expo? Okay, so there are 19 new titles uh, from a lot of great creators. And uh, so we've got books from Brian K. Vaughn, Karen Gillan, Darwin Cook, Brian Wood, Scotty Young. Uh, so I guess to slowly start off, we've got Brian K. Vaughn and Steve Scores. We stand on guard. Karen Gillan is uh, working on the Ludocrats. Okay. Uh, Scotty Young is doing his own series called uh, I Hate Fairyland. Which is great for him. Yeah, oh, and it looks good, too. The, the cover... The if you like it. those variant covers. If you like a lot of those variant covers. And also, he did the Oz books for Marvel. Yeah. Um, Brian K. Vaughn and Cliff Chang is, are doing Paper Girls. Paper Girls is another series they're doing. Also, uh, Darwin Cook is doing, quite possibly, a book with the greatest title ever used in media, Revengeance. What is that one about? We'll find out. Yeah, I feel like it's going to get real. Is it revenge? I don't know. It's a revengeance. Anyway, also, Todd McFarlane said, hey, guess what? Comicsology, you can have my spawn issues. Yep, after uh, issue 250, they should all be hitting up on Comicsology. And 250 comes out pretty soon. So, I guess if you have that spawn number one from the 90s, it's like really more you, you can read it all over again and not have to damage. Your spawn number one, one of your 20 copies that you have at home. I would love if that becomes the highest grossing downloadable comic on comicology. That would be a, a curse. A gift and a curse. But it would be great because you know what? Maybe I'll bring 90s fanboys into comics again. Maybe. Maybe. They'll be like, hey, I have this cool iPad. I can read comics on my iPad now. Did you know it? Yeah, it's been around for a couple years, buddy. Also, Star Wars is on comicology now. It is. It's on comicology and it's under the Marvel banner now. Uh, so it took a week away from being on you know, the internet. Yep. And now it's back. Yeah, it, uh, you could have uh, bought the $300 package from Dark Horse and gotten every single Star Wars book that they did. Now they are available on Comixology via Marvel. So uh, if you did that, you would have to use the Dark Horse app. Yes. It's, it's a whole timely, wobbly mess. Yeah. Very, very complicated. But it's okay. They're still around and no one needs to worry. Mm -hmm. Star Wars number one from Marvel comes out this week, but that's, that's next week's that's news. For, that's for another time. All right. All right. Marvel also had some big, uh, big things this week. Agent Carter came out, or maybe little things, or little things. Ant Man, the full teaser trailer, and that hilarious ant size trailer came out too. That was pretty great. And uh, Daredevil, Daredevil finally got its first teaser slash motion poster of uh, the city lights turning red into his uh, signature uh, D. It's and a little cool. bit of heart beating. Yeah, and the heart beating. Kind of like the pug right now. Kind of like the pug. He's, uh, he's finally, he's finally taking it easy. And I believe uh, April 10th is the release date for Daredevil. Yeah, I'm excited. All 12 or 13 episodes, all at once on Netflix. Yeah, all at once on Netflix. It's going to be pretty great. And then following that... Uh, no it's a Friday, by the way. It is a Friday. And, and in no particular order, I don't know if they've announced the official order yet, is uh, uh, after Daredevil will be Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and then a Defender series, which I'm going to presume is going to be last after all these characters meet with each other. Yeah. Maybe they'll do season two of Daredevil. Maybe they'll do season two of Daredevil after that. Hopefully these do well. And Agent Carter, an eight-issue uh, television series, which they've right. said, yeah, if they've said it does well, they could bring it back. Uh, if the numbers don't hit, they don't have to worry. They can try something else. So playing it safe, but I think doing a very good job. I enjoyed the pilot. It was two hours, but it was really, really good. Yeah, it was two episodes. It was fun. No, and uh, she, uh, a lot of people have been clamoring for the Marvel superheroes to finally have some women in the lineup and I think Agent Carter did a great job of introducing that. I'm sorry Black Widow. Uh, so, uh, so She also got cast in something. She did. She's going to be in the a new, uh, was it a Bangalore movie? Yeah, it's uh, Ghost in the Shell. The Ghost in the Shell movie. Yeah. Ghost Go Scojo or whatever people it's call Scarjo. it. Yeah. Also this week with the unfortunate tragedy in France at uh, Charlie Hardo. Uh, there was an unfortunate terrorist attack at their offices, and uh, they do satirical comic strips. It's the largest satirical newspaper, I believe, in France. Uh, it's one of the top two. The other one is the Canal Enchaîné. Oh? Yeah, I know this. I grew up in France. So, it's actually interesting. I found this out later. One of my brother's friends was 
killed. Oh. Wow. Yeah, so it kind of hits home. But it's sad, but it's, it's sad. great to see the comic community really stand up and, you know, put up their pencils and really show their weapon of choice. Yeah, yeah, no, especially in, uh, especially in a very strange times that are now, and uh, it's, it's, it's good that uh, even with uh, as much as we all groan about uh, the cyber hack on Sony, it's just another, it's just yeah. another push back from artists saying, hey, we're not going to be bullied from doing what we want. Exactly. And uh, no ideology can stop the message, good or ill. It's good to stand up. Also, IDW Publishing picked up uh, a whole comic line. They did. They, a whole publisher. They bought Top Shelf. Yeah. If you're not familiar with Top Shelf, that's okay. Because they're not really that big. They're kind of known in the indie world. Small publisher. They do great hard and soft cover books mm -hmm. as well. Lots of good collections. It's Hicks County by Jeff Lemire's uh, was a Top Shelf book. Yeah. And uh, so hopefully we'll get to see a lot more from them. Maybe they'll treat it like Boom and sort of keep the line separate. Yeah. With uh, two separate different, pur uh, with two completely separate purposes in mind. The top shelf is mostly a graphic novel collected edition. It's not single issues, or maybe yeah. now. Who knows? Who knows? But the, in the same vein of Archaea, so it's kind of like Boom when they bought Archaea a while ago, and they've kept everything strong. So I'm not worried. Hey, as far as I'm just good for everybody. Yeah, that's about it, right? I think so. That covers just about all the news this week. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and give us a subscribe. And also check out the videos from uh, this week. We've got four other videos. That's a video every day during the week. That's pretty impressive. We're going to keep doing that. The pug is asleep now. He is asleep.